Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be doing an unboxing of, I'm not quite sure of the name of this, because it's kind of, um, it's a, it's a weird name, it's like, I think it's the uh, SEMA, uh, CG023, I don't know, it's kind of, it's an inverted quad that, um, tmart.com sent to me, um, I'll have it in the title, obviously, the name of it, and a link to it, check it out, but I can't remember it off the top of my head, the exact model number, um, but you can see, it's the... Which side? It's the Raider 3D X4. Can't really get it. There's thumbnail, so um, looks pretty cool. It's kind of got the same design as the JJR or same style design as the JJRC um, 1000A battery. Um, the props look weird, like they're up on high on the shafts, and then the bottom looks like it's clear. So that's cool. You can see all the electronics in there. Um, and I got this one from T-Mart, like I said, they sent it to me to review. And they have it in the U.S. warehouse. And I got this one, actually, probably only three or four days after they said they sent it out. So that's really nice. Let's get here and see what all it comes with. Very nice box. Um, nice presentation, it all just slots together. Very nice. So that's always a good thing. I still don't know the brand of this, if it's Raider or what. Uh, uh, oh yeah, over here is the um, Aosen Ma Toys. So here we have that. We have our instruction manual. Look through that later on. Then we have our... Okay, here we are again. Sorry about that. My camera actually um, died, the battery in it, so I had to go charge it real quick. Um, so let's take a look at... Oop, the uh, battery door fell off the transmitter, but you know it takes four AA batteries. Um, I guess that's not in, yeah, that hardly clips in at all. Clips a little messed up. But here we have the transmitter. We have two shoulder buttons there. And then, and they don't feel too bad. And it says Spidex on the transmitter. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's really, really faint. Almost like it was on there and they tried to take it off. Like this, they like, stole this transmitter, but I don't know about that. Um, but here we have the sticks. Nice long for a pinchers or a thumb flyer, so good sticks. And they are very smooth. Almost, uh, throttle is actually a little bit too smooth, I think. On up and down, yaw is good. Um, but pretty nice sticks there. And then we have, looks like 20, 60, and 100% rates down here on these buttons. And this one looks like probably uh, lights. And I don't know if these will probably return to home and headless. And then these are probably half and full flips. Something like that. Um, so here we have a bag with a couple things in it. And... There is a prop removal tool, and you can't really see it, but it's kind of, not rusty, but it's like dirty and yellow, and there's spots on it, so this bag, it doesn't look too clean. <laughs> I don't know there, but um, we have we have a full set of prop guards, so and they kind of clip over the motor, you can't really see them. And we also have a full set of spare props, as long as a USB charging cable ending in the micro Lozy connector. So let's get a look at the quad here, which is the last piece. Um, so here we have it, and it's kind of like um, that thing. It kind of almost looks dirty. Um, you don't notice it at all on camera. It looks um, pearl white on camera because of lights. Um, but in real life, it kind of looks almost like a yellowish white, like kind of faded or dirty. I don't know, but uh, it's not dirty. It's clean, but I don't, that's weird. I would prefer like a pearl white, but um, the props look pretty nice. They look like the pretty much standard 3D props. They are symmetrical, so they only work with this one. Um, you do have white in the front, and that's nice. You can see it says 3D X4, and you have these little things on the arms, um, red and black there to help with the orientation. Then you have rubber landing feet along the bottom, so nice soft landing. And you also, you can see the bottom is clear, so that's really cool. And then let's pull out the battery here. Get a look at the board. Made in 2015, um, and it is a 300 milliamp hour, one cell, 3.7 volt, 25C battery. Um, so a decent sized battery for something of this size. So let's plug it in and look at the LEDs. They should be really good with the um, body like this. Um, so here we go. Just like the um, JJRC JJ1000, um, they do glow through the top. Can't see it much, but at night these will be really nice LEDs. Because um, of the lights, you can't see it. And on the bottom, you can see them on the board. You do have um, two blues up front and two reds in the back. So, pretty nice LEDs on this one. It should be a night flyer. I'll do a video on that. Um, but there we go. That was my unboxing of the Aso Senma CG 
um, Zero, uh, I think it was 32 3DX4 Raider. It's got a weird name, hard to say. Um, but there we go. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for my review coming this soon. Um, I'll leave a link to check it out from Tmart down below. It's who sent it to me. Um, so please subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.